Sing Sing is a wonderful A24 film starring Coleman Domingo, Paul Racy, and a majority of actors that are debuting in her future film. We have a fantastic performance from Coleman Domingo as our lead Divine G. He's serving time for a crime he didn't commit, and when we're not focusing on his involvement with the prison theater troupe, He's trying over and over to prove his innocence, mainly with the videotape that would place him nowhere near the crime. But we are mainly focusing on a group of prisoners that want to escape and find meaning through acting and participating in this theater troupe. Now a majority of the inmates in this film are playing themselves, and a good amount have been previously incarcerated, and some even still incarcerated. And I think this overall casting choice carries expertly through the film and most of the inmates have been involved with production and acting through the RTA program. We even get to see real clips of the prisoners on stage while the end credits are rolling, and this made me appreciate Sing Sing even more. Now as heavy and dramatic and brooding as this movie can be in certain moments, there are some feel-good laughs scattered around that gave me some pretty big chuckles. Divine G comes from a more mature Shakespearean background, and it was pretty funny to see our troop try to meet him halfway with throwing their own outlandish ideas that are pretty ridiculous. But the execution of this was pretty funny and even wholesome. The oldest leader of the group, Brent, played by Paul Racy, is pretty much the middleman and he's trying to get all the inmates to land on a final idea. Brent combines all the prisoners' thoughts together and we come up with some pretty goofy ideas like time travel, mummies, and even a mention of Freddy Krueger. I can understand if it sounds weird the way I'm explaining it, but the execution of all this and the involvement of all the inmates in this final play, I really enjoyed. I, I, I couldn't help but have a big smile. Divine G comes across a prisoner by the name of Divine I. At first, Divine I maintains that people are going to keep looking at him as a thug and a gangster, but he begins to develop a real love and passion for the acting and participation in this play, and even manages to land the leading role of Hamlet, which Divine G really wanted to go for. Divine Eye is playing a variation of himself, but his screen presence and the acting with his facial expressions, his eyes, the beats with his delivery, I thought were very well done and executed. And I do think that Divine Eye is a standout as far as the acting goes in the film. Now my favorite character in the film is a prisoner named Mike Mike, played by Sean San Jose. Sean gives a highly impressive performance. Mike Mike is great friends with Divine G and the banter they have together is pretty funny. While they're at lunch, Mike Mike is goofing around and doing the robot, we're getting funky. Just a highly memorable character. His comedic timing is great, but later on he gives a monologue that's very emotional and it goes to show that he's not just a comedic relief in the film. And I feel like this is also worth noting, but after reading some trivia, come to find out Coleman Domingo and Sean San Jose are actually really great friends off the screen as well for about a decade or so. And this really translates and absolutely shows in the film. Their chemistry is A+. Now the raw emotion given by the prisoners and the stories we get to hear from them were not only genuine for me, but incredibly powerful. And I'm not ashamed to say that I even shed a few tears watching Sing Sing. When a prisoner named Charlie shows up later in the film, he explains how before his pit bull passed away, she was the happiest to see him come back home after prison. And this part gave me big tears because it didn't feel scripted at all. It felt like they let the actor playing Charlie go off the rip and recount an actual painful memory that he went through. And 100% fantastic scene that was a big standout for me. I love the ending. And I don't want to spoil too much for those who haven't gotten a chance to see this film. But I felt like I was loving the movie already and how it was progressing. And I just felt like the ending was a wonderful cherry on top. I thought the musical score was very memorable, not only from the emotional cues that we get, but there's also some very nice, moody jazz playing here and there that I really appreciated. I really liked the camera work. The cinematographer Pat Scola and the director Greg Quadar gave us some really interesting, old school, grainy looking shots that are scattered throughout. And there were moments where I felt like the aesthetic of it 
and the overall look felt like an older Broadway production, and I really dug it. Now, this movie was filmed at the actual Sing Sing Correctional Facility, and this film only took 18 days to shoot after planning it out for about six years or so. But overall, I had an absolute blast with Sing Sing. I really love this movie, and I have this as my personal favorite film of 2024 so far. This is a dialogue-driven film, but not once did I feel like it slowed down due to the riveting performances from the entire cast and an overall great breath of life to the film that kept me glued to the screen. Coleman Domingo was fantastic here, Divine Eye puts in a great performance, Sean San Jose is wonderful, the writing is great, the musical score is highly memorable, and the more emotional moments hit me like a ton of bricks. I'm going to give Sing Sing a 10 out of 10. Now I got to catch this one at Regal Mystery Monday at a local theater near me. And I was really surprised to see this one come on the screen. I had seen the trailer a couple months before. And I was really excited. This seemed like my type of flick. And I'm more than happy to say that it exceeded my expectations. I had a blast. And I can't wait for you guys to check it out. And when you guys do, eventually it drops, I believe, worldwide August 2nd. But when you guys get a chance to watch it, come back, comment below, let me know your thoughts. In the meantime, between time, I'm on to the next review. Thank you guys for watching. Fro Thizzle Reviews, I'm out. Sing Sing, my favorite movie of the year so far.